Thank you, Williams, for that report. Now, on Thursday, public transport companies in Rwanda began operating electric buses for passengers who travel outside the city of Kigali. These companies say using these buses will reduce their fuel expenses by at least 40% on diesel and petrol. We have more on this report. The first public trip using electric buses to a province departed from Nyabugogo in Kigali and headed to Mohanga in the southern province of Rwanda. Chiza John, one of the passengers on this trip, said he found electric buses to be quite different from those that use fuel. The biggest advantage of our buses is that they are purely electric, 100% electric buses. So no diesel, no fumes. Number one thing that we aim for is protect our environment, our climate. Our buses have the capacity to evade 30 tons of carbon dioxide a year per bus. So that is quite a big number towards saving the future of this planet and starting here at home in Rwanda. Um, the other advantages of it is our paid model that we use with our uh, operators, bus transporters. We avert the need for them to have a high cost in the beginning. These buses are more expensive than diesel buses, but the way our model works, we allow them to pay a small security fee and the rest we give them the bus and they go and work and pay as they work. Mm. Literally paid stands for pay as you drive. Initially, Volcano Express will operate nine electric buses on different routes. Dr. Igabe Ejid, the director of the company, said that using electric buses come with many benefits. Uh, as a citizen of Rwanda, the first benefit is that uh, we are not polluting our own environment. This is our environment. The government always tells us to protect it. But we have to be part of this protection journey. So as transporters, we are the first who are polluting the environment with our buses, with our vehicles around. Volcano has been here for 25 years. So it is, uh, we don't have to wait that anyone else reminds us that we have to, to start uh, also protecting the environment with the electric buses. Uh, buying diesel, as you can see, the diesel prices keeps going high because of uh, heavy cost of importing it. We don't have control on the dollar. Uh, the government tried to store diesel for us, so they keep giving subsidies. But it is also us, as uh, transporters, to think uh, the other side of green uh, that can save the, 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 the money that we, we spend on the, the transport. So the first cost is uh, diesel. That is the highest cost of every transporter. It accounts about 40% of uh, all our costs. So when you use electric, you save about 60% of the money. If, if for example, you are collecting 100 uh, in revenue, you are saving 60 when you use electricity. Because electricity in Rwanda is very cheap uh, compared to other countries. It is an advantage that we have, so we have to take uh, advantage of it. That is the first uh, importance of these electric, electric buses. In Rwanda, these electric buses are supplied by Pesico, a company focused on sustainable and environmentally friendly transport solutions across Africa. Its CEO, Jit Bhattacharya, expressed great satisfaction in partnering with Rwanda. Rwanda is one of the most incredible places for us to be introducing this technology and for us to be making the transition to electric buses. Um, here in East Africa and countries like Rwanda, we have some of the cleanest electricity in the world. Right now, 58% of Rwanda's electricity comes from clean, renewable energy sources. As a result, when we change one of the diesel buses, uh, whether it's in Kigali, whether it is up country, from diesel over to electric, we have the chance to mitigate 30 tons of CO2 emissions per year. This has dramatic impact on climate change. At the same time, what we're able to do is bring in modern, 
clean electric buses that are not polluting the air and that are providing a state-of-the-art public transport experience for all the passengers who rely on them every single day here in Rwanda. It is so exciting. We have seen this over the last few years here in Rwanda. When the price of diesel rises, it puts a lot of pressure on the fares for passengers. And we know this is such a, an important daily activity. Um, we need to keep the prices low. With electric, electric is much more affordable and much more competitive than diesel buses. Um, the one challenge we have with electric bus technology still is the upfront cost. Now, the government of Rwanda has done a fantastic job. Rwanda is leading Africa in terms of uh, creating policies to help promote and accelerate the adoption of this technology to help make it more affordable. The second tool that we have is through the Basigo's pay-as-you-drive model. Through the pay-as-you-drive model, what we're able to do is afford, uh, uh, offer these electric buses for an affordable lease rather than for a very expensive purchase. This is allowing this technology to now be adopted by the bus operators across Rwanda, both in the city of Kigali, and now we're so thrilled after today to be able to offer these products to upcountry bus operators as well. So far, 24 electric buses are operating in Rwanda on various routes. The target is to reach 100 electric buses by the end of 2025. Rwanda and Kenya are currently the only countries in Africa operating electric buses for provincial tours beyond major urban areas.